Let's look at how to undo and redo our actions and also use the history panel. I'm working in Designer, but this behaviour is the same across all Affinity apps. As you would expect, you can undo your last step in your current session by opening Edit and selecting Undo. If you change your mind, you can go to Edit again and choose Redo to move forward one step. Of course, we have keyboard shortcuts to help speed up your workflow. Undo is Command-Z on Mac and Control-Z on Windows. We can also quickly redo steps using Shift-Command-Z on Mac and Shift-Control-Z on Windows. All of your steps are logged on the history panel down here. Let's drag it out to get a better look. This contains a chronological list of all the steps or changes you have made within your current session. So you can scroll back through your steps if you want to find a particular change. You can also drag the position slider to review your document from different points in time. This history information can be really useful, so you can actually save it with your document. Go to File and enable Save History with Document. It will show you a little dialog to inform you that Save History is enabled and what that means, and we can click Yes to confirm. Now let's save our document. We can go to File and select Save As. I'm going to call my document Rooftops and save it to my desktop. And now I'll close the document by going back to File and choosing the Close option. This has ended our session with that current document. Now I'll reopen it by going back to File, Open Recent and choose my file that I just closed. If we look at the History panel, here are all our steps from our previous session. Finally, I'll show you our Alternate Futures branch feature. Sometimes we might move back in our timeline and then make a change. I'll choose a step from the past and then add a rectangle over the artwork using the Rectangle tool. I'll use the Fill tool to add a gradient. And I'll also change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Now we have trialled a sunset version for the artwork. Usually, this would overwrite all the steps that came after, but this is not the case in Affinity. This icon will appear, showing us that we've created an alternate future. Clicking it enables the user to cycle between timelines. Here we have all the original steps, and if I click the icon again, we move to our alternate future where I added the sunset gradient. This is great because it gives the user a lot of flexibility to try out new ideas. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.